Hello Creations Crafting on a Budget. In today's video, I am bringing to you not one, but four Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIYs. These DIYs are so easy and so farmhouse and rustic, you are going to love them. So let's jump into it and let me show you what all you need from the Dollar Tree for these farmhouse DIY decor pieces. For this first farmhouse decor piece, I am going to be making coasters using just one of Dollar Tree's decorative ropes. I'm gonna start off by hot gluing it in a circle and I'm gonna continue to hot glue it around, which would be somewhat of a spiral until I've gone around eight times. And this will give me the size coaster that I'm looking for. You can make three coasters out of one of Dollar Tree's decorative ropes. Using this brown liquid shoe polish that you can pick up from just about any Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, 99 cent store, I'm gonna use it to distress these coasters, to give them that aged, dirty look. This is such an easy, inexpensive way to distress just about anything is to use liquid shoe polish. And to deepen up that distressed look, just make it look a bit more aged and a bit more dirty, I'm gonna add just a touch of black liquid shoe polish as well. Now let's make a placemat doing the same thing that I did with the coasters, only with the placemat, I'm gonna be using three of Dollar Tree's decorative ropes to achieve the size placemat that I would like. And again, using my black and brown liquid shoe polish, I'm going to distress my placemats as well. I tell ya, I would distress everything if I could because I love that rustic age look you get from distressing something. This next Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIY is a video request from Erin Morrison. Erin, thank you so much for your video request. I'm gonna start this project off using a Pyrex glass bowl. I'm gonna use one of these plastic cover-ups that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have a plastic cover-up, you can always use plastic cling wrap. And I'm gonna cover the outside of my bowl with it. I chose these cover-ups because it's just all around easier. There's no need to use more than one piece. It just covers the outside of the bowl perfectly. Now using my jot glue from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna pour it into a separate bowl because I'm gonna mix water in with the glue to dilute it, doing equal parts of water to glue. Now I'm gonna take the twine and I took and just cut up a bunch of pieces. I didn't measure anything out. I made some short, some long, and I cut up about half of the spool. I'm then gonna take and place all the twine pieces that I cut into the diluted glue and really just saturate them. You want them good and saturated. Then I'm just gonna take and randomly place them over the outside of the bowl that I covered with my saran wrap cover up. I'm gonna do this until I can no longer see the bowl, giving it a nice good thick layer of twine. And this is what you should be left with. Because I'm impatient, I'm gonna place this in my oven at 200 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours so this will dry and harden. If you've got patience and you wanna leave this out overnight to let it dry, have at it, you've got more patience than I do. Alrighty, my bowl is dry and hard and it is ready to be removed from this bowl. 
It took about two hours in the oven at 200 degrees for it to dry completely. Now let's remove the plastic and it should peel right off really easily. The yellow that you're seeing on the edges of the bowl are just from my crafting cookie sheet. So that's something that I'm gonna take and just use my scissors and cut off real simply. Along with any of the twine edges that just don't look like it should be there or maybe kind of were bent funny, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them off and kind of even out the top of my bowl a bit. Then again, taking my liquid shoe polish, I am going to take and just distress the edges of this bowl just to give it more, again, of that rustic farmhouse aged look. Now taking this corked glass bottle from the Dollar Tree and some of the decorative rope, I'm gonna start at the bottom of this glass bottle and I'm gonna hot glue this decorative rope around the glass bottle. And I'm gonna use just one of Dollar Tree's decorative ropes for this. And again, using my twine, I'm gonna wrap this twine around my four fingers to make a twine flower. This is probably one of the easiest twine flowers that you can make just by wrapping it around your fingers. I'm gonna wrap it around several times, just to make it as thick or as thin as I'd like it to be, then just tie it off in the middle. I'm gonna do this three times. Just very simply, I'm going to hot glue all three of them on top of each other, giving us this rustic farmhouse twine flower. Tell me this is not so stinking easy. And again, to give this flower that rustic farmhouse touch, I'm going to be adding some, wait for it, liquid shoe polish to the tips of it. there in my book is just the finishing touch that this rustic farmhouse bottle needed. Now let's put some flowers in it. This last rustic farmhouse DIY was brought to me by Esmeralda on Facebook. Thank you so much Esmeralda for sharing this with me. I'm going to start off by removing the rope from the jump rope handles which is the carrot. I'm then going to cut off the knot because I need this green part, which is the top of the carrot. I'm then going to give my carrots a base coat with Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color of Nutmeg. An alternative to using this spray paint would be Waverly's chalk paint in the color of Hazelnut. You can pick that up at Walmart for about $1.50 a bottle. Once my base coat has dried, I'm then going to take Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory, and I'm gonna place a very light watered down coat over my carrot handle. And I'm doing this with water because it'll give that crackled distressed look without having to sand it. And there you have it. Would you just look at how stinking rustic and farmhouse these carrots look. I love these. Now taking some twine that I've picked up from the Dollar Tree, you can use green or brown twine. Either one will look great. And just like I did with the flower, I'm gonna wrap it around my four fingers and tie it off. Then just simply feed it through the cap of the carrot and replace the cap back onto the top of the carrot. And lastly, just cut the top of the twine. 
Would you just look at that? These are so stinking cute. I love them. Thank you so much, Esmeralda, for this share. Make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel for her video of the week to see what she just recently adopted. You can also catch Allie's video of the week where she found Pick Me Pops. She was so stinking excited. You can find the links to both videos in the description box below. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for these Dollar Tree Farmhouse Rustic DIYs. These are such quick and easy projects to do that will add that nice rustic farmhouse feel to your home. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture of it, send it to me on Facebook or Instagram, because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.